Well, this is the best day I've ever had in Greece spearfishing. As the saying goes, it's not what you know, it's who you know. And the only reason we are here is because I met a man called Klaus in Corsica on a video shoot a couple of months ago. And he said, come to Peloponnese, we'll shoot some Dentex. I said, okay, let's do it. But then when you're booking things last minute in this part of the world, in Europe, it's so hard to find accommodation. He said, no problem. I have a friend who owns these gorgeous villas. He's got a spot for you. So come along. So here we are. If you ever find yourself in this part of Greece, I highly recommend staying here at Petroni Villas. The staff are amazing, Paniotas, super friendly. The views are amazing, the food is amazing, the breakfast is god tier, highly recommended. If you've watched any of my videos before, you'll know the two times I've been in Greece spending a week here diving, I haven't shot a single fish and I'm hoping to change that this week. Klaus and I share a similar dislike for early morning starts when spearfishing. Here, we're loading up the boat at 5 p.m. Now that's my style of diving. What are we going to shoot today, Klaus? A lionfish. <laughs> a lionfish. But hopefully, something a little more exciting, like a Dentex. As per usual in Greece, flat seas, blue water, and air that was like it had just come out of an oven. The plan for the afternoon was to make some dives in shallow areas for Dentex. They become a lot more active in shallow water later in the day, but you have to be ready, as generally you only get one chance at them. I was already learning so much. We want to make dive here, and after I will bring you with the rope straight there. Because there, when we're going, you must be ready. Uh, maybe I'll do one dive, quick dive here. You know, because it's, if they are there, you, you don't have possibilities to making some dives. Mm -hmm. Special tactics. Yeah. yeah, teaching him the, I was going to say Jedi ways. Yeah. 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 <laughs> It was exactly as Klaus had told me. A few big rocks in and amongst the grass. Sit and wait. Way, way too far away. Stupid dead tanks. Did you see them? I saw one, yeah, maybe like one kilo. And then I thought it was coming and I shot the jet. It's so fast. That spot was now finished. On to the next one. Do you hide under the stones? It, uh, you see the big, big yeah, stones yeah, yeah, yeah. and you sit on top or next down, down, down. down on the on the sea yeah. on the grass? The sea grass or in the sand. Okay. When, you find, when you find the shadow, stay down. My mistake here was sitting on top of the rock, not down in its shadow. The Dentex had lost interest in me, but my interest in them had more than peaked. Klaus took me back to the fishy area and gave me specific instructions. See the rocks? Uh, which way do I face with the dead text? In the front. There, like this. Okay. This dive I tried to find a place to hide in the shadow of a rock, as well as slightly in the seagrass. Mm -hmm. 
I'd been spotted. Every time there is dead text. Once the sun goes, we'll go. They don't want to collaborate, eh? They will, they will collaborate. We will force them to. Okay, we make them die in this place, but I bring you now, it's better. There was only enough light for one more dive. There was no rhyme or reason. The Dentex were coming from every direction. This made it very challenging to keep the gun pointed where it needed to be. Eventually, a fish decided I was interesting enough to take a closer look at. I've always been hesitant to shoot Barracuda, as they have a reputation for turning around and biting the diver once speared. It turns out, even at this size, they will try and have a go. Finally, a fish in Greece after all these years. <laughs> Saw lots of little Dentex, been holding out for a bigger one, but this guy just came cruising in. Couldn't help myself because I remember from Italy that they're supposed to be tasty. If you want to eat him and you want to eat him like uh, sushi, yeah, it's better that you clean him stomach now. Okay, I'll do that, yeah. Yeah, so you think sashimi? Yeah, sashimi, it's perfect. For that, yeah. not so much on the fire? No, no, but it's on the roll. Well, this is the best day I've ever had in Greece spear fishing. <sighs> Look at those eyes, <laughs> those thirsty, thirsty eyes. I'm ready. Back at Catroni, Paniotis was already busy in the kitchen with the barracuda. I think we're gonna have some uh, sashimi mm. with the barracuda. It's the best thing to do with the barracuda? So I th uh, not really, I think it's better to have it grilled, you know, but not enough time to grill. Mm. Klaus said barracuda is no good on the grill. Who's, who's lying? <laughs> in the oven, it's better in the oven. Yeah. In the oven, okay. Tell me what's in this panel. So, there's a barracuda. Barracuda. And now we have three citrus. So we have lemon, lime, and orange. Both the juice and the zest. Uh, the flowers are edible. They're borage. There's, yeah, wow. there's some Greek chilies. Uh, a little Smells bit of amazing. rosemary and uh, lavender. So it's kind Salt of... Salt and pepper. It's like capaccio, ceviche... Yeah, something in between. Yeah. Wow. It smells amazing. Can't wait to eat this. Here we go. Right. Actually, shot a fish that can provide for people. Look at this. Well done, guys. It's just barracuda with soy sauce. Mm -hmm. Nothing else. Fish and soy sauce, I think, is one of my yeah, favorites. 
No, it's about a barracuda. Hey, if you did this in Australia, video. people would think you're crazy. We never shoot barracuda. No, no, in Australia, never. We get um, cigatera, the, okay. the poison in, in bigger ones, but. From what? They eating one um, fish to eat one. Okay. Uh, alka, for example. Yeah. Yeah. That's really nice. No wonder people shoot these things. Of course. One more piece, sorry. Oh, it smells so good. Wow. 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 That's amazing. Thank you. Join us next time on our Southern Greek adventure where Klaus continues to teach me the ways of the Mediterranean.